ago, Francis Ford Coppola released a movie that solidified in our collective unconscious the concept of Italian Americans. As murderous criminals who really, really love cannoli. God, cannoli is good. Time has passed, and thanks to HBO, we now realize that Italian Americans are more complex than that. They also go to psychiatrists and have Russian mistresses. And some of them are plumbers who hate turtles. But for the classic Italian American stereotypes, you can always go back to the original source. Here's our review of The Godfather. It's good to be a part of a family. Especially a family that kills things for a living. Welcome at long last to the world of The Godfather. But is this game worth the wait? Is it a made man? Or will it end up like Joe Pesci and Goodfellas, wearing his best suit face down in a pool of his own vital lubricant? Start your gaming life as a wee shiver of a boy. You've just deposited your first horrific event into the bank and trust of your brain. Papa? Since you can't withdraw anything from there without costly therapy, you'll have to set off on a vindictive murder spree to at least keep the memory of your father's death company. When the time is right, it will take your revenge. The Corleones will become your new family. They have values. The fascinating thing about the title is that you weave in and out of famous scenes from the film. You're what happens after Coppola has yelled, cut. Who tapes the gun to the toilet for Michael to find? Who helps Godfather after he's been ventilated? Get the picture, you're in it. The space between these infamous scenes are thick with opportunities to make your mobster bones. I could put you out of business in a hurry, understand? Rise through the ranks of common thuggery and become an integral element of those crazy cannoli-loving Corleones and their dynasty of death. Lee, if you ever have a hundred guys with guns on your side, whatever you do, don't trade them in for some fucking lawyer. <laughs> True to life, you're a wicked blade in the Italian army knife. You'll set off armed with a fistful of advice supplied to you by some of the film's infamous characters, like old Abe Vagoda. I need one last favor, a hit. What do you say? Along your merry path, you'll put the squeeze on the local American dream for a taste of the action. You'll also uncover larger rackets that they may be sheltering within the smaller businesses. Get you. The game has some great explosive detail and bits of collision are nicely visualized, but there seems to be something lacking in terms of atmosphere. The environments are textureless. There's no real sense of New York's expanse, and all the interiors become all too familiar all too quickly. There's a lot your gaming Goomba can do. Choke, garrot, throttle, molotov, throw people off of roofs, touch rollicking Doxy suggestively. Don't be stingy, baby. But it's the scenarios where you ply these missions that quickly seem like you've been there before. I'm not here for games, pal. I'm here to buy out your share of the take, kabish. Targeting also seems to have a mind of its own. Auto-aim often chooses proximity rather than threat, which was annoying when the heat was on. All in all, one thing's for sure. Italians make amazing shirts. We give it a three out of five. You know, I wish they decided to include Diane Keaton in the game. I'm deeply into her Caucasian whining. It really made the original movie for me. The possibility of turning classic films into video games has really no end of possibilities. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, what? Bridge on the River Kwai, over the River Kwai. Okay, that's like a railroad tycoon game. Gone with the Wind, farming slash starvation sim. Okay, Dr. Zhuang Ho, real-time strategy, it's the Russian Revolution, but there's yeah. all these really good melodramatic mini-games and icicles everywhere. Oh, that sounds beautiful.